Good evening, YouTubers. New Time Travel Jaime 88 here. I'm back with another Star Trek VHS review. And tonight, I am going to take a look at Star Trek, the movie's 25th anniversary collector set. This is a nice box set. And it's the first time that a Star Trek box set ever to be put out on VHS. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Here's the, um, the word Star Trek, the movie's 25th anniversary collector set. And here's the picture of the USS Enterprise. Registry number NCC-1701. No bloody A, B, C, D, or E. And this is a nice metallic look. I like that. Now I got this box set from a thrift store for four dollars. It's a good deal. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look. You got the picture cast of the Enterprise crew from Star Trek V to Final Frontier. By the leave a camera can can focus focus and yeah, doesn't want to focus right now but this is the same picture that also appeared in Star Trek Beyond yep let's take a look here's the other um, side you got Star Trek the motion picture Star Trek 2 to Wrath of Khan Star Trek 3 to search for Spock uh, Star Trek 4 The Voyage Home and Star Trek 5 The Final Frontier. And Star Trek 2 The Wrath of Khan has a new artwork. Yep, here's the top of it. Let's take the bottom. It's 12953. It's Paramount Pictures from 1991. The box has a bit beat up, but still um, it's in good condition. Here's what the movies look like. Okay, let's take them out. And there you go. Here's Star Trek's 1 through 5. Nice little artwork. I like it. Okay, let's start with Star Trek, the motion picture. Special longer version. This is from 1979, but the box says 1980, but that's incorrect. Special longer version, 12 minutes of additional footage. And this is Ready G, and it's 143 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label and label. There is a print date, June 27th, 1991, and it's printed on the can barely see it. The 28th week of 1991. Since this copy has a print date, we all know what this tape has at the end. And it comes with this ad right here. And I know a lot of people do not like the first film by um, call it a slow motion picture. Here's Star Trek 2 to Wrath of Khan. The best of Star Trek sequel. Because it has Khan returning. And get revenge on Kirk. It's a cat and mouse game. Arch villain Khan returned to set a deadly trap for Kirk. And, um, yep. I really like, um, the sequel. Ready G in his, I mean PG, excuse me, 113 minutes. Here's the tape. Here's the end label. 
49th week of 1989 and a 28th week and the 27th week of 1991. This tape is a recycled tape from from the accused. I mean, District Thunder. But sorry about that. But here's the um, comes with this offer of a lot of Star Trek goodies and merchandise. Let me put this back in there. This has nothing at the end because this tape is a recycle tape. Here's Star Trek 3 to search for Spock. Now I love I like this um this film. Kirk must battle to clean on to protect the Genesis planet and save a friend's life. Ready PG 105 minutes. Sticker label and label. 26th week of 1991. Here's Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. I love Star Trek IV The Voyage Home because this is the best uh, Star Trek sequel. Can the crew of the Starship Enterprise save the Earth and its people from total destruction? 119 minutes, rated PG. I also had the director series on VHS. Uh, the print date, printing is a bit messed up here, but... Here's Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Uh, okay, sequel. The Final Frontier has the Trek... Essence in Spades, said David Aston of Newsweek Magazine. Ready PG, 107 minutes. 32nd week of 1991. All right. And all five Star Trek movies has the Star Trek 6 teaser trailer at the beginning. And... Let's see how much how I rate this film. Uh, Star Trek the Motion Picture, uh, okay movie. I gave this movie um, eight out of ten. Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan, the best sequel, and brilliant performance by uh, William Shatner, Count Ricardo Montalban. Ten out of ten. Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock, um, awesome film. I give it 9 out of 10. Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. The best movie. Time travel film. 10 out of 10. Uh, and Star Trek V. 6 out of 10. But. Anyway. If you're a, um, a diehard Star Trek fan. This set I highly recommend it. But However. There is another set came out, which is this, Star Trek The Movie's 25th Anniversary set. This set came out for a price at $100, and it has all five Star Trek films in widescreen with the collector pins and a certificate right here. And if you want to check out this review of... This particular set is up there on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. So, okay, so that's it for this week's video. I'll see you guys in the next video.